let's quickly review styles. So we saw that you can create a style two ways. One way is by example. So if I take my type tool and I click in the paragraph that has all of the attributes that I want to combine into a style, I can go to my paragraph styles panel, click the panel menu, and create a new paragraph style. Give that a name, body text. I'm going to call it two because I already have one. When I click OK, that style can then be edited. The other way is to create that style from scratch. So if I am not clicked in a paragraph, I can also do new paragraph style, or I can do it a different way, which is by clicking the make new icon, create a new style. The make new icon gives me another step. I create it and then I have to edit it to change the name. If I use the new paragraph style feature, I can do both at once. So if I want to edit a style, I simply double click it in the panel and I can give it a name. And I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to do that. The other type of style is a character style. It works the same way. I can simply highlight a word or even a single character that I want to apply that style to. So if I want to italicize a word, I can choose my style that I created called body text italic. The last kind of style that we worked with was called an object style. So if I go to the second spread, and I have something like this text frame that holds the sidebar that I want to create a style for, I can do that. I can click on the text frame, go to my object styles panel, and create a new style the same exact way as I did it for text. So those are really the basics of styles. So I can apply a character style over a paragraph style, but I can also apply what is called an override or local formatting. So if I change the color of the fill of the type, to red, that is considered local formatting or an override. That is represented when I go to my paragraph styles panel by this plus sign. If I option click or alt click the name of the style, that will clear the local override. I'm going to undo that. If I add the shift key, so shift option click or shift alt click the name, it will remove both the local override, the local formatting, and the character style. So it will strip it down to only the paragraph style. So next, let's do an exercise. There is an exercise for the next lesson. Download the PDF and the resource file, take a stab at it, then come back and we'll go over it step by step. If you don't want to try it on your own, just come back and you can do it as I show you.